Oh, how does that old saying go again? If you can't beat them, then join them. Uh, well, the Ravens decided they wanted to do a little remix to that, put a little spin on it, to where if they beat you down, then have them join your staff. And they hired not one, but two former Miami Dolphins coaches. YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And those Florida Ravens strike again. And they made two hires, one of those being Rob Leonard. He used to be the outside linebacker coach for the Dolphins, but now he will be the outside linebacker coach for the Baltimore Ravens. Because, of course, Zachary Orr, he is going to be the inside linebackers coach for the Ravens. Uh, but Rob Leonard will coach the outside linebackers. And Ravens certainly remember, they had it in the back of their minds. Oh, man, that pass rush against us from those Miami Dolphins, it just destroyed us in all kinds of ways. So you know what? How about we counter that by bringing that to our staff so hopefully we can destroy some other people, uh, but we can also try to figure out how to possibly counter it too. Now, when we look at uh, Rob Leonard, his uh, coaching history, um, from 2013 to 2016, um, he was a de defensive assistant coach with the Giants. Um, and then in 2017, he became the assistant defensive line coach. And then in 2018, he became the assistant linebackers coach for the Giants. Uh, but then I guess he felt like the weather up there was too cold. And he like, what better place to move to than Miami? Like, I, I, I'm trying to get out of this snow. I'm trying to have warm weather all year round. Yeah, it's going to be a little rainy off and on, but that ain't no big deal. So in 2019, he came down to Miami and was their linebackers coach. 2020, he became their assistant li defensive line coach. And then last season, he was their outside linebackers coach. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see how it goes. But I am... Um, I do like that move simply because just from that <laughs> Ravens versus Dolphins game alone, I ain't need to see nothing else besides that. Uh, but anyway, um, they are also hiring somebody from the Miami Dolphins offensive side of the ball. Uh, George Godsey, he's going to be their tight end coach and he's replacing Bobby Ingram, who, of course, left to be an offensive coordinator. Like that's a promotion. Uh, he left to be go be an offensive coordinator at Wisconsin. And now this this is very interesting right here. This is something that caught my eye because, like I always tell y'all, with questions from subscribers, y'all bring out so many great points and questions all the time and stuff that I had never thought about. And one of those questions was if the Ravens should make T. Martin a co-offensive coordinator with Greg Roman. And honestly, and maybe I missed something, but I didn't even know that was a thing. I didn't know a co-offensive coordinator was even a thing. I didn't know that was like a, an actual real position. But it says, shout out to Jeff Zrebic too, by the way. He said, Godsey is a former tight end coach for the Dolphins, but he was also a co-offensive coordinator for the Dolphins. And he used to be offensive coordinator with the Texans. And we'll go over his coaching history uh, in a second. But that led me to believe like, hey, if you see the Ravens, make a move and have somebody, I don't know, just throwing a random name out there, T. Martin, as a, make him a co-offensive coordinator, then that could be the beginning of, uh, not necessarily the end, but that could be the start of a transition. But that's, we'll see, we'll see. Don't hold your breath on that one, just putting it out there. But anyway, when we look at uh, his resume, um, as a coach, he was UCF's quarterback coach, uh, so the University of Central Florida. He was their quarterback's coach from 2005 to 2008, um, and then he moved to being the running back's coach from 2009 to 2010, and then he graduated to the pros. He became the New England Patriots offensive assistant in 2011, and then the following year, uh, he was their tight ends coach, the Patriots tight ends coach in 2012-2013, and that was when... On the field, the the Patriots tight ends, they were like that. They were like that because they had Gronkowski. That's when he started coming up. And they also had uh, Aaron Hernandez. Again, we on the field, they were like that. Um, then he moved on to the Houston Texans as a quarterback's coach in 2014. Uh, then from 2015 and 2016, he was a Houston Texans offensive coordinator. Uh, then he went to the Detroit Lions. So he was moving around, but he went to the Detroit Lions in 2017, 
was their defensive assistant, and he worked on special projects. Uh, but then in 2018, he went to the offensive side of the ball and was the Lions quarterback's coach. Uh, but then he moved to the Dolphins, and again, he was like, this Detroit weather? No, this ain't for me. This ain't for me. So in 2019, he came down to the Dolphins, came down to Miami, and he ended up being their tight ends coach. And then last year, he was the co-offensive coordinator and the tight ends coach. So he did a little double whammy. So with both of these coaches that they hired from the Miami Dolphins, both of them in 2019, they realized like, man, we, we got to get out, out of the north, man. This, this weather ain't it. This ain't for us. We got to get on up out of here. Let's find our way. Let's make our way down to Miami. But I think that's actually when Brian Flores became the head coach of the Dolphins, I believe. Uh, so he must have loved these guys. And anyway, and then another bonus hire that the Ravens made. Uh, they uh, hired, let me see, Ryan Osborne. And he is going to be a quality control He's going to be in a position of quality control. So we'll see what happens with that. Not sure what that role is going to be, but that's that. So the Ravens, they've been active. They've been very, very active. Uh, now, he did not come from the Miami Dolphins. He, <laughs> he came from Michigan. So Mike McDonald just bringing one of his boys on that he knew from Michigan. So... We'll see that how that goes. And, and I'm excited about uh, the defense. I'm, I'm just excited to just see how it goes. I'm really excited. First and foremost, excited to get everybody healthy. That's the most important thing. But I'm just excited to see what they do. I know Jeff Zrebic talked about how they don't expect many, like, scheme changes. Ah, uh, but I, I think there would be. I, I think there will be significant differences in the scheme. Not necessarily what type of defense they run. Because they, they'll run multiple defenses. But I, I do think that the scheme is going to be completely different. And hopefully it is completely different uh, to where guys can really continue. I will not continue. Guys can consistently be put in positions to have success and positions that really match their skill set. That, that's one of the biggest things that we ask for uh, as far as offense and defense. Guys to be put in positions to where their skill sets are maximized because that's something that it just hasn't been going down. Now, um, with the Ravens making all these hires, uh, the result of that, well, these hires came from guys on the staff who had ended up getting fired. Um, and one of those guys was Rob Ryan, who was the linebacker coach for the Ravens last year. Um, now, they, they pushed Wink out the door. They didn't necessarily fire him. They pushed him out the door, and he was like, oh, I ain't doing this. Um, and he ended up becoming the defensive coordinator for the Giants, but he's bringing Rob Bryan along for the ride. Uh, and then they said he could possibly hire Drew Wilkins as well. So now Wink, he bringing his boys along. So, and, and this is no surprise anything. I think a lot of people expected this, especially when it was known that the Ravens let both Rob and uh, Drew Wilkins go. Um, but for, so Wink putting them on to, to, to the Giants on his defensive staff, no shocker there. No, no, no shocker at all. Um, but yeah, that's that. So shout out to them. Shout out to Lamar Jackson. Um, I'm, I'm sure all of y'all done seen the, the Instagram story by now to where he just, <laughs> that, that kid was going crazy. He was like, ah, I got to meet Lamar in the middle of the street. Thank goodness it wasn't no cars coming or nothing like that. Uh, and you know, he was waiting for that moment the whole night because this dude, um, unless he had on like five jerseys on under his shirt. But he lifted up his shirt and had the Lamar Jackson jersey on. He was hyped. Looked like his eyes were getting a little watery, too. Um, but shout out to Lamar for making that dude's night. Um, and also, shout out to uh, Justin Tucker. Uh, Justin Tucker, he won the NFL Honors Award for, uh, for the biggest moment of the 2021 season, I believe. And that was him hitting that 66-yard field goal against the Lions. And that was crazy. And it's, it's, it's crazy that that ended up being, like, winning that award. That's like, for Ravens fans, it's like, oh, okay, we, we get it. But as far as an outside NFL perspective, that was a huge moment, obviously. But I'm just, um, I wouldn't think that the NFL would actually have that as a winner. I was, I was shocked. Pleasantly shocked. But I was shocked. I thought they would pick something different. Um, but... No complaints from me. So shout out to JT, Justin Tucker doing his thing. Um, and that 
I watched that clip of his speech. Um, and also, uh, I watched like, I didn't watch the, the award show at all. I just, nah, nah. but I did watch that clip of his speech and I watched a clip of, uh, Josh Allen with the sort of the, the, you know, NFL had him say that at the little cringy overtime joke that he did. And then, uh, the cringy joke about Patrick Mahomes, uh, seeing Joe Burrow's outfit at half. Oh man, it was just, I, I can't, I can't watch some of those shows, man. Cause it would just be cring, cringy for like the whole, however long the the show lasted for. So I, I didn't watch it at all. I, I saw some clips on YouTube, and of course, you know, Ravens put up Justin Tucker. I was like, oh, okay, that boy JT, he done won. Shout out to him. Uh, but that was that. Anyway, love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Um, plenty of question from subscribers on the way over the next couple of days. Cause again, now is the time when we be able to get these questions in. Uh, because, and y'all, like, sent, like, a mil millions of questions. We got, like, millions of questions to get through. Uh, but anyway, love y'all. Appreciate y'all. We out.